milk, an important food for the health of the nation. Pasteurized milk, a safe food, trusted by millions of people and important in every diet, of special importance to children and invalids. For all these people, pasteurization is a guarantee of safety. There is no such thing as partly safe milk, for milk is either pasteurized or it isn't. Pasteurization is a scientific job, a responsible job, and extends directly to men people seldom see or know, men to whom they entrust their health, milk plant operators. Perhaps you work in a small plant like this. The building is well built and kept in good repair. Besides a cold room and utility rooms, this plant has three rooms for handling milk and milk containers. The receiving room, the pasteurization room, the bottle washing room. These rooms contain equipment especially designed to protect the milk from contamination. The milk flows from the receiving vat to the pasteurizer. After pasteurization, it goes through the pump then spreads over the surface of the cooler to the filling machine. The most important factor in producing pasteurized milk is the care with which you handle it, the methods you use. The milk is delivered to the receiving room. Use of this room helps keep flies out of the rest of the plant. Always keep the cover on the receiving vat, except when the vat is in use. Remember, milk is food. Protect it. Your first responsibility is to make sure that all of the milk you receive is of high quality. A single can of poor milk may ruin the whole batch. An experienced operator can usually detect such milk by its odor. If you suspect that the milk is too warm, check it to be sure. Stir the milk to get an accurate temperature reading. Seventy nine degrees and off odor, too. Rinse the thermometer and the stirring rod and return them to the sterilizing solution. This rejection slip explains to the farmer the reason why his milk is being returned. When all the cans are emptied, replace the vat cover and turn on the milk pump. This forces the milk through sanitary milk piping to the pasteurization vat. Be sure the inlet valve is open. 
Turn on the agitator and the water jacket circulator pump. Always keep the vat cover closed during operation. This keeps the heat in and prevents dirt from getting into the milk. This pasteurization vat has three thermometers. On the left, an indicating thermometer, an airspace thermometer, and a recording thermometer and its chart. The airspace heater assembly is made up of a steam strainer, a control valve, a condensation leg with steam trap, an auxiliary water trap, and a steam gauge. This unit provides a flow of clean, dry steam to the inside of the pasteurizer. The agitator motor and shaft, as well as all other instruments and pipes, are connected to the vat cover in such a way that no dirt can get through the openings. Good equipment, well cared for, helps you protect the milk from contamination. Let's see how this pasteurization vat operates. The space between the insulated outer wall and the inner wall forms a water jacket. The water is heated by steam in a mixing valve just before it enters the vat. The water jacket is filled up to the overflow pipe. The milk enters the vat through this inlet pipe. The vat is filled with milk to a level just below the level of the water in the jacket. This ensures that all of the milk will be heated. The indicating thermometer bulb reaches almost to the bottom of the vat. This thermometer is used to determine the exact temperature of the milk. It must be accurate. The recording thermometer provides a permanent record of the temperature of the milk. Its bulb also extends well down into the vat. The agitator stirs the milk so that it is heated evenly and all of the bacteria are exposed to the pasteurizing temperature. Through this airspace heater, clean, dry steam is forced into the space between the top of the milk and the cover of the vat. This makes sure that any foam or drops of milk which have splashed onto the cover or sides of the vat will also be heated to pasteurization temperature. Another thermometer, called the airspace thermometer, determines the temperature of this airspace. The bulb of this thermometer must not touch the milk. This outlet valve is placed on the side of the vat so close that the stirring action of the agitator reaches even the milk in the outlet pocket. The outlet valve is a leak protector type. If the valve is loose, worn or scored, unpasteurized milk may seep between the plug and the inner wall of the valve. To prevent this unpasteurized milk from getting into the outlet pipe, grooves on the inside wall of the valve catch the milk and bring it out through the bottom of the valve. This type of valve prevents raw or partially pasteurized milk from contaminating the outlet pipeline when the valve is closed. As the milk runs into the pasteurizer, turn on the steam to the jacket which is already full of water and then turn on the airspace heater. 
This should be on during the entire filling time to keep the air above the milk in the vat at least five degrees above the milk temperature. When the vat is full of milk, turn off the inlet valve. This valve, like the outlet valve, is a leak protector type. It prevents raw milk from leaking into the vat during pasteurization. When the indicating thermometer shows that the milk has almost reached pasteurization temperature, turn off the steam to the jacket to prevent the milk from becoming overheated. Pasteurization begins when the temperature of the milk reaches 143 degrees, not one second before. This is the lowest temperature which, if held for 30 minutes, will kill all of the disease germs which might be in the milk. The steam supply to the airspace heater is adjusted so that the airspace temperature is at least 148 degrees during the entire pasteurization holding time. This is important because tests have shown that 148 degrees is the lowest airspace temperature which will heat all foam and drops of milk on the cover and sides of the vat to at least 143 degrees. When the milk reaches pasteurization temperature, turn off the water jacket circulating pump, but leave the agitator on during the entire pasteurization holding time. 